Commander Johnston, Adjutants Burgess and Heslip, National Officers, Past National Commanders, Delegates and Guests. Thank you everyone. It has been an honor and a pleasure to be here. Now before I share some of my thoughts with you, I thought some cosmic coincidences might be in order. Yes, stars do align. Now the first DAV National Headquarters was in Ohio. Commander Johnston is from Ohio. The first DAV National Headquarters was in Colorado. I am from Colorado. <laughs> I learned at Joe's testimonial that he was the seventh national commander from Ohio. I happen to be the seventh national commander from Colorado. <laughs> Since we're here in Vegas, I wonder what the odd makers might make of this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a real honor and privilege to serve as your DAV Auxiliary National Commander this year. I travel from Maine to do hardship duty in Hawaii. Hey, being the commander is tough, from California to Florida with many stops in the middle. Everywhere I traveled, I was met with wonderful hospitality and made many new friends. I saw United in Service in Action while attending the Sharing and Caring Boat Ride in Pennsylvania. What a wonderful day for the veterans and their families. Many different organizations unite together to make this event work. I am sure that many veterans look forward to this event every year. If there's ever a doubt in your heart about America's support for our men and women in uniform and their families, I invite you to head to Birmingham, Alabama. Riding in the Veterans Day Parade and seeing so many people waving flags and thanking the veterans as each car or float passed was amazing. Hundreds of people of all ages were there waving and showing their support. In spite of the fun we have conducting our important business, we should never forget those who've sacrificed. I had the honor of laying the wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Arlington with three National Auxiliary Officers assisting me. It gives me chills to see all the lines of headstones knowing the sacrifices they made to protect our freedoms. I accompanied Commander Johnston as he gave his address on Capitol Hill and attended Operation Keep the Promise rally that was held prior to his testimony. Commander Johnston, Gary Augustine, Joe Violante and the entire team in Washington did an excellent job. As DAV marked the 100th anniversary of World War I, I had the pleasure of touring the World War I Museum in Kansas City, Missouri. It is a beautiful facility with a lot of history in it. The curator we had did an excellent job on our tour. It was very somber to see the museum dedicated to what was, what was once called the Great War, which planted the seeds of the DAV and the auxiliary. I saw many of you at different conventions and conferences and experienced firsthand the great job that the DAV Auxiliary members do in the VA hospitals and clinics, the local hospitals and nursing homes, as well as in your own communities. It is amazing to hear all the reports and hear the hours, miles, and monetary donations. You are all truly amazing. I believe the DAV Auxiliary is heading in the right direction. Membership goals were met this year, but I challenge you to attract the families and children of the new generation of veterans who are now transitioning from service. Many of them are not aware of the vast network of support the DAV and Auxiliary have available to them and their families. We must grow in order to remain a viable, productive organization, and we need to take care of all who need our support. And I think with your help, and based on what I experienced this year, we'll certainly accomplish that. I want to thank you very much. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless America. At this time, I would like to recognize my friend. Oh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I want to invite Auxiliary Past National Commander Linda Trujillo from the great state. She's not from Arizona, is she? Great state of Arizona to step up to the microphone for a special presentation. 